Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review and demo on some new Wet n Wild products. I've been testing them out and finally I can do this second part of the review for you guys. I did a review on their Photo Focus Foundation, Concealer and Powder. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it down in the description box. I kind of want to just bundle those up since they're all like the photo focus line that came out. But this is going to include some of their contour sticks, highlighters, cushion products, lip products, eye products. So a nice little mixture of the rest of the new products that just came out. So the first two products I wanted to talk about was their Mega Cushion Contour and their Mega Cushion Highlight. So some pros and some cons for this product. First of all, their Cushion, I do love, absolutely love Cushion um, foundations, the L'Oreal and the Maybelline. I'm interested to see if Wet n Wild would uh, want to come out with a Cushion foundation now because they do have contour highlight and they also do have like their color correcting cushion products which I hadn't seen in the stores when I picked up all these new products I think maybe at the moment they might just have them on the wet and wild website but I picked both of these up and for the contour and the highlight right now they're only really seems to be like one color for each so kind of interesting but let's start off with the contour just both of them the packaging it's a little round packaging and then you have like the little cushion um, like puff um, like silicone puff and then I actually kind of broke mine but you bring this up the packaging isn't like my favorite because it had like a little thing you can pull and I broke that off so I was like okay let's hope for the best um, but you do have the little cushion like this so some things the formula and the product I love itself I really do love the formula and the product the packaging because it is a cushion I'm like okay I want to use the little cushion that comes with it because when I use my cushion foundation that's what I use because I feel like that's what the purpose of a cushion is but when it comes to the contour and the highlight I need some precision with the placement of the product so something like this I've used you know kind of dip this in there I was like okay how do I do this you know do I just kind of like dip in like this and just try to get it um, do I use the very edge and just try to get it and blend it and it's a little bit more difficult than I would like so what I actually do like using is a brush like a little pointed brush like this this is a crown this is their pointed blender this is a synthetic brush so I just kind of dip it in the product and just kind of like place along my cheekbones and anywhere that I want to contour and that's a little bit easier but for me it kind of defeats the purpose of the cushion because you want to use the cushion with it which is why like I kind of hate when people get the cushion foundation and they use a brush or a beauty blender, but whatever each their own but honestly I feel like that's the only way that I personally like do like using um, the contour product so other than that, I think the product itself, you just think of it as this is like your cream liquid, you know, contour shade. I love it. I love the formula. I love the way that this glides onto my skin. I do have dry skin, so I love when products do glide. Um, it applies really, really nicely, and then when I blend it out with my Beauty Blender, I can still see it. I can still see um, the definition that it leaves on my skin. I love the color. It's not too dark. It's not too light. So I don't know if uh, different skin tones are going to think that, so I'm kind of like in the light spectrum there so anyone lighter than me is going to be too dark for you anyone tanner than me is it's still going to show up I think if you're a little bit tanner than me it's still show up um, I hope they do come out with some more color options because universal shades are great but then you know a certain skin tone it's going to be either too dark or too light for them so hopefully they come out with more options because I really do like the formula of this contour cushion product P.S. Sorry if the lighting is really weird so since I moved into this new apartment it's been really nice I have this really nice big window here um, but just kind of how I have my placement of everything, my background back here and the windows kind of like on my side and it's apparently spring right now in Chicago it's February it's 60 degrees uh, so we we get to see sunlight finally I think we went like a whole week without sunlight but now it's like okay trying to maneuver and play with the sun I've never had this problem because I used to be in a basement apartment like a little dungeon so I never had the opportunity to work with the sun in my lighting so I'm kind of like trying to scooch trying to do what I can because it's like at that moment during the sun where it's like way too strong kind of where I don't want it usually natural lighting is your friend right now it's like at that placement where it's not my friend so <laughs> something we'll learn to play with later I wasn't expecting to have sunlight in the winter time so we'll figure it out just FYI sorry about that back to regularly scheduled programming 
So the next item is the Wet n Wild Cushion. This is their highlighter. And this also only comes in one color. This is more of a pinky toned highlighter. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a lot of people's favorite color. For me, I love the color. I think it works with my skin tone. I run more on the cool neutral side, so I'm not too warm. So I really like it. I'm also lighter. Also, same concept. I'm not a fan of using this little sponge with it. Um, and I don't know if you can see on this one, I kind of like pull it up from here, but I broke it off on the contour one. And what I actually like using is a little brush like this, kind of like the same concept as I did. As long as it's synthetic, this is a real technique. This is actually like their um, buffing brush for like maybe like the crease shadows, fluffy blending out. But I really like this for like concealers and stuff. So, like, you know what? Let me try it for the cushion. It looks really, really pink, but it gives you a nice little, like, icy type pink highlight. It looks really, really natural. Once again, it's more on the, like, liquidy side of highlight, but it's not too intense, but it's definitely, like, a nice glow. I would say the Maybelline highlighters are a little bit more, like, pow intensity, but this one's definitely one you can still kind of build up. It definitely just gives you a really beautiful glow, real natural glow to the skin. So something I've been loving for my dry skin. Um, if you are a little bit more tan than me, I could see you maybe not liking this color at a certain point. So hopefully, once again, I do hope they come out with more color options and more like neutral, maybe like champagne or golden. Just so options are just always great. Now, I love the Mega Cushion Contour. They also came out with their Contour Stick. So I picked up two colors because I wasn't sure which ones I would like better. So I picked up 805 Call Me Maple and Oaks On You. I think Oaks On You is probably better for my skin tone. This is definitely a little bit darker. The Call Me Maple is a little bit darker. The 805, 804A is definitely my color. Um, I Honestly, I think this is going to kind of depend on your skin type. These are only $4, so $2 less. I think for my dry skin, I think it didn't glide on as easily as I would like. So this could be a skin type issue. If you're oily, maybe these glide on a little bit more easier for you. Uh, these are supposed to be a cream to powder finish. So right away, I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that dry skin issues. Um, it doesn't dry, you know, down really weird on me, but I just feel like it just kind of tugs a little bit and the blending out isn't as easily as the Mega Cushion Contour. Now, for those of you who are oily skin, you might think like, ooh, the Mega Cushion Contour is maybe a little bit too slippery, it slides off, kind of melts off me. Uh, so therefore, maybe try the stick foundation where I'm as like, ugh, I need something a little bit creamier that's gonna slide and glide a little bit better. So. This might just be a personal preference thing for everybody. I, you know, once it kind of blends out, I for this one I feel like I need to use a brush and a beauty blender to blend it out. But once it blends out, I think it's okay. The color isn't my favorite. I've tried both of them. I definitely think I prefer the color from the Mega Cushion um, contour shade though. So color wise, I'm not a fan. And gliding wise, I think I just prefer, honestly, if you're dry skin, I would definitely say just check out the Mega Cushion uh, contour shades. The next item that I picked up was their concealer. <sighs> Once again, I feel like the issue with me is that these don't glide on very easily. Tug. So I've used a concealer around my face, and then I've also used it underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes, I'm not a fan of because it's way too thick. It definitely settles in my fine lines where it's like I feel like I have to really open my eye and really get in there and like try to blend it out. It's a little bit too thick for underneath my eyes and then just the way that it tugs around my face I'm not a big fan of. So this is definitely a pass for me. Also I feel like it didn't really cover any dark circles I have underneath my eyes. For the concealer I got Nude for Thought. I think this is probably like in the middle range. Um, but regardless on the color selection maybe I could have gotten a little bit darker to kind of conceal near my eyes but at the same time I don't want this underneath my eyes and also I don't want this around my face because it's just a little bit too drying for me. If you're um, oily skin maybe around your face you might prefer it. Then the next um, stick product is the blush stick and the shade that I picked up is Hustle and Glow. I'm okay about this. I feel like my issue with this is just the application. Like I've done it where I've kind of put it in the back of my hand and then just kind of tapped it and try to add it on my cheeks as well as just maybe directly and then I have to go in with the beauty blender. It's just not as creamy as I would like. I do, I have dry skin so I do enjoy um, cream, uh, what do you call it, blushes? I do enjoy cream blushes but I feel like just in this formula it was not my favorite. I think the pigmentation is pretty good. You can definitely build this up. I can add it to the cheeks and kind of blend it out or you can build it up but 
overall just it's just a formula thing for me maybe if you're oily skin and you wanted to check out a like creamy blush product maybe this might be a little bit better for you whereas other cream blushes might be a little bit too slippery for you I picked up their Lash Renegade Mascara. This runs for about $6. I'm not the biggest fan. The packaging, okay, I guess it's probably a little bit better, but for... It's a little bulky for me, I guess you could say. Uh, for convenience-wise and storing it, it takes up a little bit more room than I'd like. The brush, um... I'm not a big fan of the brush either. The little bristles are actually like really spiky. Then you have the little rounded top on there. Application wise, I don't say it would it's like a quick coating of lashes. I like my lashes to be like dark and to be coated. I feel like I have to go maybe three coats in with this so I can get, you know, like a decent amount of like lash color on there to make them look black. I always get my mascara and I get the blackest of the black. But the fact that it kind of takes me like three coats to kind of like build this up and get some type of intensity of mascara. Just like in general, usually after two coats, sometimes, you know, your mascara gets a little bit clumpy. But with this one, like, it's it's more of a drying formula, so, and it's like a really lightweight formula. So you really just kind of have to coat to get some time of intensity. If you're someone who maybe doesn't like really intense mascara, you want something that's really, really light, maybe you'll like this. Um, one thing I will say, it is really good about separating the lashes. If that's something you are looking for, then you'll really like that. I do like how it separates the lashes. It does kind of like lift them up, but it's just not as intense for me. Like, I want my lashes to kind of like pop pop off. <laughs> I want you to see my lashes and it just takes too much work to kind of build and build and build. Which, you know, if you do like build up with mascaras, maybe you like this one. But I'm like, eh, it's okay. I'll use it, I guess, if I have to, but I just use it up to use it up, not because it's like, ooh, I really like this product. So the next product I have is the Mega Skinny Tip Eyeliner. And a lot of drugstore eyeliners, I'm just like, okay, we'll see, we'll check it out. I'm not expecting much from it. Maybe that's what I gotta start doing, because this is definitely mega skinny. <laughs> and the um, applicator, it is so precise, so if you love that, you're gonna love this. I love it. I actually really do like it. I'm like, ooh, oh my god. I honestly was not expecting much, but this thing is black. This is so dark. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, and I didn't really have to, like, you know, go over it a bunch of times just to get that black intensity, because I feel like a lot of drugstore um, liquid eyeliners, really, they're, like, not, like, like, a dark, deep black, which is what I want. Like, you really kind of have something to build it up. Um, and then this is definitely more, like, that felt tip liner, so I feel like sometimes the felt tip ones aren't as intense, like, right off the bat, but, oh, my God, this was intense. And you can really get, like, that precise wing. You can just, like, flick that thing out, get it real sharp, and it's just easy. I love the precision. That's what I like. I like the precision that you can get with felt tip eyeliner. Sometimes it's a little bit more user friendly than the brush one because the brush ones can get crazy real quick. But this one, oh my god, that point that's so sharp, it's so, like, it definitely is so precise, it's so skinny. Uh, you can just definitely get that nice little flick of the wing that you want at the end. I am very impressed with this eyeliner, I gotta say. And the fact that it's only $5, I'm like, oh my god, I, I definitely check it out for $5 if you're looking, and it's matte black, it doesn't like super glossy, I hate, I'm not a big fan of like glossy eyeliners, if I gotta use it, I'll use it, but you know, if I really want my, you know, look to come together, if I really want to use some of my favorite products, I always go for more like on the mattifying side of the eyeliner, so if you like that, oh my god, I am impressed with white one, I was like, okay, alright, I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just try it, I'm glad I picked it up, because I was like, ooh, we might have a new drugstore, um, add to the favorites for the eyeliners, because I'm always looking for an affordable, like, matte black, deep dark eyeliner for my wings. I think I found one to add to that addition. The next product that I have is their makeup remover, Micellar Water. I really do like Micellar Waters. The ones that I was really liking was the Garnier ones, specifically the one in the pink top, because the blue top, this reminds me of the blue top one, what I, which I really kind of don't like is that it leaves a kind of greasy residue. This runs for about five dollars, so it's cheaper than the Garnier one. It's a little bit smaller. I'm not a super big fan of like, you know, when you gotta kind of like press down on the product on your little cotton pad. Um, but I, it does remove your makeup, it does, but it just leaves a kind of greasy like film and greasy residue on my face. I don't feel refreshed, I just feel like, I've got all this like, you know, greasy, gooey, <laughs> 
my cellar water. I don't like the feeling that it leaves. It doesn't leave me fresh, which is what I like about the pink Garnier bottle. So, I don't know. Some people do like the um, blue Garnier bottle. So, if you're a fan of that one, uh, if you don't mind it, this definitely does get the eye makeup off. So, that, that's probably what I'm going to use it for in between when I run out of my other eye makeup remover, as I do with the blue Garnier. I'm probably going to do that. So if you do like that blue Garnier top one, I'll list my review and demo down below of those in the description box if you're interested. So if you do like that, Wet n Wild has an affordable option for you as well. The last product that I have is the Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream. The shade that I have is the 100A Melanit Like It Is. And I'm also like, I don't like it, I don't dislike it, I think it's okay. Um, one thing, it's not as tricky as I thought it was going to be, so it comes, once again, with a little cushion. It was kind of hard to kind of pump out. Maybe it's just mine, I don't know. But it was just like, I was like, trying to pump it out of there. <laughs> I think the color's okay, it's a nice a spring color. I would definitely say if you're going to use this, exfoliate your lips. Because uh, you'll see like every nook and cranny. It's kind of cool that it is buildable. It's supposed to be like, oh, do you want like a light coverage? Do you want full on color? Um, you can definitely, you know, choose those options. Uh, but I don't know. I was okay with it. I didn't really dislike it. It was pretty comfortable on the lips, but you really, the only problem with like building it up is, you know, just trying to make sure you're all kind of evened out a little bit more so since it's specifically supposed to like kind of be like different layers that you can get of intensity. So I think that was my only problem with it. And then I feel like it might have been a little bit harder to be precise when you're kind of, you have this whole big sponge thing, you know, if you want to definitely use a lip liner when applying this, um, but it, it didn't dry down like super duper drying, it was pretty comfortable, it was definitely like a soft matte, it wasn't like an intense matte, so if you're interested in that for something quick to kind of throw on if you do like, you know, just a hint of a tint, you can definitely do that with this or you can just build it up as you please. So those are some of the new Wet n Wild products. Make sure to check the description down below for some more of their face products that I did a review and demo on. Some hits and some misses there. I was definitely impressed by some products that I didn't think I was going to be as impressed with. But definitely, um, you know, I feel like maybe it might be just like my skin type. Why I like some products over the others. That's usually it. So if you're curious about some of these products, it might be something I didn't like. But maybe you're like oily skin and you're like, you know what, maybe it might work on me. I would definitely say check it out. If you've tried any of these products and you've liked them and let me know make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time